Hey guys, so if you've been following my channel, you know I'm building this camper shell for my Maverick over there. When the camper is back here, it's going to cover up my, my rear view, so I won't be able to see back here. But I think I have a really inexpensive solution to that, and I'll show you what that is. And the solution should work for like any any kind of vehicle. So if you have a van or something that you have cabinets covering up your view. Uh, one of the things with my build is I, I don't want my cabinets covering up my blind spot, but this might allow me to do a little bit more covering of, of my blind spot because this camera is gonna let me see the back of my car even though it's covered with something. And I'll show you how I'm going to hook that up. Is this Sinvanho? D1 camera and I'm hoping this will solve my problem and allow me to look at the blind spot even while I'm driving not just when I'm backing up. All right so let's take a look at this camera. 4k camera so it's going to be super clear but uh, it's got front and rear which is important i don't want just a dash cam i want to be able to look out the rear also and that's important let's see what it comes with okay let's take a look at what's here all right here's the, the mounting thing for the for the camera and the display some wiring so this is uh, the rear camera looks like cigarette lighter port flash memory drive um, so this this is actually really nice that it comes with some memory in it because because those memory cards aren't cheap a okay, GPS also so that there's uh, the GPS capabilities of this camera so it knows where you're at. Looks like uh, maybe the rear camera mounting. We'll give it a shot. Looks like a short USB power port so if you got uh, access to um, a USB that's close by there's a short cable. I think that's what it's for but anyways we'll, we'll see we'll see what it's for when we start hooking things up. See what else is in here. Okay, so this is the front camera itself. There's the front camera. And this is important for me is that it has a display screen. And using this display screen, I'm going to be able to see what's in the back of my car. So let's uh, hook it up and give it a shot. It's got Wi-Fi, 4K, HD. And there's an app that comes with it too for you to view and, and download files. And uh, the memory card is already inserted in there. So it comes with 64 gigs of memory. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, you know, th these, these cost money. So it adds to the cost of the, the product. So it's nice that it comes with it. So let's hook it up and give it a shot. Okay, looks like there's two mounting options. You could just stick it right onto the the window with using this adhesive right here and it'll slide onto that pin right there uh, and also there's this guy which will be a suction onto your windshield of course it's not a sticker it's a suction so this comes off a little bit easier I'm, I'm going to use this option right here and I'm going to install it somewhere like around there I'll put the camera down and stick it in so on this suction cup there's this this little locking thing so what you do push it in and then you twist uh, and that'll lock it in let me try to do it with one hand but so now it's in locked mode and that's the way it looks on the underside so let's put in the camera and take a look at it okay so that's with the camera in that's the way it's gonna look and you can tilt it and of course you can screw it in save your position and then you you'll be able to rotate it as needed so looking back um, for me that seems a little bit too high I don't want it to be up there so I'm going to lower it all right that's better so now I could actually see the screen and I could control the modes I don't know if you could see it with the glare of the Sun but there's a 
the mode control up down menu so the buttons are down here nice and accessible so that's the way the camera is going to mount okay so if you want to use the GPS feature this is where you would install the GPS and there's a double-sided sticker and you could put it up there or stick it up here or something like that somewhere out of the way but I am actually not going to use this GPS uh, feature uh, I just don't need it for my applications so I'm not going to install that so I'm just going to install the power and the rear camera port to this and then we're going to route it up through here up and around okay so I'm not going to do a hard wire but I do want the wires out of the way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to route the wires up and through the back and the, the package actually comes with a pry tool and you have a Ford Maverick you could just pry that open and that will give you access to the inside so now we can route the wires up real easy first the USB then the rear camera port okay just hooks up like that and what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna hide the wires inside of this Okay, so now that I have the wires routed up and through this, and this is secure, I can start routing the wires through the headliner. Okay, so from this side, you'll see here's the wires, and then I'm just going to start tucking it in and routing it through. And if you have a, a little plastic tool like this, it'll be a little bit easier for you to tuck it in. Okay, so when you get here, what you can do is you could take this pillar, and just take this guy right here, take that out, and then you can start routing the lines through here. All right, tuck it all under. When you get here, you can put this guy back. Just clicking it in like that. So let's finish the routing down here. So for here, we're just going to keep tucking. Inside the seal. Not even going to take anything out. Okay, so for down here, I took out the snap just so that I could get it underneath there. So we'll going to route it underneath. But remember, um, just just the power line. I, I don't. I only want the power to go that way. The other line is the audio. The other line is the video line, which I want to go to the back of the car. So just one wire. Okay. So now that we've got those two lines. That's the way it looks on the inside. I'm going to go around this post, this plug, and then I'm going to put that plug back in. Okay. All right, got that back in, and here's the two wires, okay? So one wire. the power I'm gonna just go to the middle the power line I'm just gonna route underneath here and gonna zip tie it up and then bring it okay so bring this around to over here and then I could plug it in to my cigarette lighter right there and it's got a USB on this side too just in case you still need a port but now I'm gonna tuck tuck this wire away so I don't step on it while I'm driving of course okay so now that I got that power line 
tucked away and it's plugged into there nice and neat I need to go now and route the video line and I could route it underneath here but I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually undo a little bit of what I did and for the video line I'm gonna come up come up this pillar and then go around to the back that's gonna give me quick access to my camera camera rear camera spot and I'm gonna make it movable so there's two mounting options uh, that this box comes with and I'm going to use them both to my advantage. Okay, so I undid that to make the video line come up here and I'm going to do the same thing, tuck it in and then route it around the back. All right, so I tucked it all underneath, comes around and here it is and I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to tuck it underneath this and then bring it around here and my first here's my old video camera and i'm going to replace that and put in the new video camera but uh, it's key that it comes around over here because i want to give myself the option of moving the camera when i have the camper shell on all right here's the wire i'm just going to tuck it underneath just tuck it all in and now don't yank on it after you tuck it. And now, here's the wire. I'll be able to install the camera real easy. Okay, so the first way I'm going to mount the camera is right here. So let's mount that up. So that's going to go on like that. No problem. So now I can easily connect the video port and the nice thing about it is I can connect and disconnect it and move the camera to the back behind the camper shell when I want to in the future. You can see I could even do it with just one hand. Well I forgot to plug in the microphone so I'm going to do a little bit of dubbing right here but anyways so with all this extra wire what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it here in the back of the seat and you know, I want the ability to extend that wire all the way around to the back so that when I do have the camper shell on, I'm able to take out the wire, move the camera, and extend it to the rear of the camper shell. All right, so in this mode, the wires are tucked away nice and neatly, and you don't need to see it. But the next mode, I want to be able to, remember, go around the camper shell that I'm going to put. And that, I'm just going to remove this camera Put it out this window and then I can easily take this line and bring it around to the back and here I'm going to also have a secondary mounting position on the camper shell for the, the camera which which will be able to tilt to the new position on the new camera so what I'm going to do is probably put the camera somewhere around here or up here or something I haven't decided the exact spot but the concept is there so uh, I'll be able to see behind the big camper shell so next up let's test these cameras to see how clear they are and uh, we'll install the app okay so I installed this lucky cam app and I'm gonna go through the setup instructions all right I turned it on I had to move the camera to the garage the car to the garage because there was too much glare in the sun you can see my rear camera is right there and it is upside down right now so there's a button on the rear camera i think there's a button on the rear camera to flip it let's go check that all right so in this app mode i can record stop recording switch to photo mode the folders i guess that's going to show yep all my data Go to settings. Let's see how we could flip that camera upside down. So on this camera, there's a button right up there. Let me flip that over. See if that solves our problem. Okay, so let's give this thing a shot. Look at it. Uh, the screen is pretty sharp. Look at there's the re reverse uh, review. <laughs> There's the rear view camera and there's the front view and there's my house. 
I think it looks pretty sharp. So let's uh, take it for a drive and see. The switch on the camera was able to flip the rear view camera, but you do have to recycle the power. Well, yeah, I think the picture is pretty sharp. Seems to be working pretty well. And you, all this stuff is on the the camera too, on the video card. So you could take out the video card and take a look at um, how take a look at your video. It's going to be even sharper, of course, when you look at it on a bigger screen than this. So this is the actual footage that I downloaded from the camera, and you can see it, it looks pretty good. This is downloaded video from the rear camera, and you can see the color is not as sharp, but it's still, uh, the picture itself still looks pretty good. Okay, let's look at the different modes. So this is just uh, front camera. This is just rear, and that's rear up there and front here. So and this is backwards that's rear and that's front or you can have just all front or all rear so uh, let's come back at night and give it a shot to see how well that looks so here's the downloaded nighttime footage and I think it looks pretty good also pretty sharp rear camera. the rear camera is not as sharp as the front facing camera uh, it, it is degraded at nighttime at least from this screen We'll, we'll take a look at it on the memory card to verify. All right, so I've been using this for a couple of days now, and it's actually been working great. Uh, you know, it's a really inexpensive little uh, dash cam, 4K dash cam. Uh, the, the frames per second is not as high as my iPhone, of course, so it's not that nice and not that smooth, but the picture itself is very clear. Um, the only thing that I would change is if I could make the screen stay on all the time. It doesn't stay on all the time, so when I do want to look in the back or something like that, I, I do need to uh, click on the mode button to turn it on. But I, I think it was $65 for an Amazon Prime, uh, so that's not bad. So if you're looking for an inexpensive camera, this might be the one for you.